When I first left home and through my 20s, my dad and I used to write to each other. And um, it started off with him, he used to send me stamps, he collected stamps for a while, probably something to do with tax evasion. Um, and um, we would write to each other, do Mrs Medley, do Mrs Medley, like that very formally. And he would send me stamps. I oh, hear you looking for these uh, Guernsey stamps and I have them for sale. And here you are. And then I would take them off down the Strand, which was full of stamp shops in those days, unbelievably. I'd take them to Stanley Gibbons and all the others and just see, get the best price and flog the stamps and then I'd have some money to live on. Um, and this went on for a while and it kind of hacked me off because I was a dance student and I was also working at the at the kiosk on Platform 10, the <laughs> Houston station and various pubs and bookies on a Saturday and things. And so, kind of could do without having to traipse around to these bloody stamps to get some money. So uh, one time he did it and he sent me the stamps and I waited for a little bit and I wrote back then to him as if the stamps had never come to me, that they were just mine. Dear Mrs Medley, I hear you're collecting these uh, Guernsey stamps and I have these in my collection. Um, if you'd let me know whether or not you want them and I'll, I'll send them to you. And he wrote back and said, Dear Miss Medley, yes, I would very much like to buy these stamps off you and here is the cheque and perhaps you'd like to put them um, in the post. It'd be good to have them by return. At which point I ran off down the strand and sold the stamps and cashed my dad's cheque and then wrote back to him going, uh, Dear Mr Smedley, I, I had no idea what you're talking about. I've never collected a stamp in my life. And then he wrote back again going, bloody, nobody likes a smart ass." Um, but the whole stamp situation stopped there. The letter writing didn't, more of that anon.